Hi again, I'm Dylan Black. Monday, right here at Daytime Ottawa Rogers TV. You know, tomorrow night going to be very special as the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, under the direction of the Grammy Award winning Adonis Rose, will be holding a show at the Shankman Arts Center. Let's get all the details right now as we say hello to Adonis Rose joining us. Hi. How are you? Good to be here. Good to have you here. Uh, how many times have you come to Ottawa? I know you're a world traveler, but mm. do you remember your times in Ottawa before? I know I've been here at least once yeah. with the great New Orleans trumpeter Nicholas Payton, and I think I believe I came for a jazz festival at the time that I did come. It's amazing. I know you've done yeah. so many shows, big venues, big festivals throughout the years, so welcome back to Ottawa. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about this orchestra straight out of New Orleans. Do I yeah. say that right? Yeah, I you said it in, right. Up in Canada, sometimes we call it New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think you, I think you got it right. Ha, New, New Orleans. Orleans? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about this orchestra. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the orchestra is an 18-piece jazz orchestra, uh, and we're a nonprofit organization, uh, and we're dedicated to preserving and educating people about New Orleans music and exposing the world to mm -hmm. what we do in New Orleans. So we take a little bit of our culture and bring it around the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have educational programming that we do all year round in the community in New Orleans, and we also have a concert season that we do at our venue, the New Orleans Jazz Market. Uh, all year round. All year round, wow. Yeah, yeah. 18 piece. Is it difficult then to transport 18 people across yeah, yeah. city to city? It is. It yeah, is. it's a bit of a we, challenge. Yeah, you know, we have some experience. So, you know, we just make sure that we have all the flights booked and a nice bus <laughs> to yeah. put the band on to go from city to city once we get in a particular region. That's good. Let's talk about the music that you're going to be performing tomorrow night. Special mm -hmm. songs, the music of Alan Toussaint. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So we. Alan Toussaint is an amazing New Orleans, he was an amazing New Orleans artist who was a prolific writer and he wrote for many great artists, uh, Dr. John, Irma Thomas, mm. and he himself was a pianist. Uh, and he had many great hits who I'm sure people, uh, some of those songs people are familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, Working in the Coal Mine, yeah. who he wrote for Lee Dorsey. Uh, uh, it's Raining, he wrote that song for Irma Thomas. Uh, Southern Nights, Glenn Campbell did. Uh, a version of that song uh, uh, that Alan Toussaint also wrote. But we're going to be doing all of his, well, a lot of his hits and also some New Orleans favorites. So mm -hmm. A lot of familiar yeah. stuff. Yeah. A lot of fun party Absolutely. tunes. Oh, well, tomorrow's Mardi Gras Day. Yeah. So we're going to celebrate Mardi good. Gras at the Shankman Art Center. That's good. <laughs> okay, so as I mentioned, you're a Grammy Award winner, and I'd like to talk about that because uh, not every day I run into a mm -hmm. Grammy Award winner. You won it back in 2009. 2009 okay. for uh, Best Large Ensemble. Okay, mm -hmm. what was that experience like? Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I mean, to be able to be recognized for your work is always something that's special. Uh, and the Recording Academy, um, uh, to be able to get a Grammy, it's voted on, voted on by your peers. Mm -hmm. So it, it consists of thousands of musicians uh, who make up the members of the Recording Academy, and it goes through the voting process. So, you know, the members who are also your peers, you know, get a chance to listen to your work and vote on it. Makes you feel yeah. like you're doing something right in your in your community. Yes, with, yes. with your peers voting like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when did you take over this role as the artistic director? Mm -hmm. I started with the organization when it was founded in 2002, and I was the drummer in the band mm -hmm. for 15 years hmm. uh, until I took over the orchestra. So I came in uh, initially uh, as a drummer, and then I took over as a musical director, and then I took over as artistic director in hmm. 2017. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you wear a lot of hats, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, yeah. You really do, because when I see uh, all your, uh, your your resume, basically, so you're also an educator at the University of Texas Arlington, mm -hmm. founder of the uh, the Fort Worth Jazz Orchestra, mm -hmm. uh, and more. Uh, how do you find time to do all this mm -hmm. and tour on top of it? Well, yeah, so I moved to the Fort Worth area after Hurricane Katrina, and uh, did my residency at UT Arlington when I was there, and I founded the Fort Worth Jazz Orchestra that was modeled after the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, which was the orchestra that I was working with at the time, and I wanted to do something out in the Fort Worth area. So I did that, mm -hmm. and then I moved back home. Uh, but I do a whole lot of other things in New Orleans. So, uh, you know, I work with universities like Tulane and University of New Orleans and the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts, and we also do educational programs. So we have a youth orchestra that we do every weekend uh, with kids from the ages of, of uh, 8 to 17. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do that. Uh, we also tour the band. We do recordings. My and goodness. as I mentioned, we do concerts monthly. 
You yeah. have uh, well over 50 recordings to your yes. uh, to your resume? Yes. Okay. I, I would say probably more than that. Yeah. Over 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 25 years you've been doing this as well. And as I mentioned at the top of the interview, you've played some of the major festivals in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, giant jazz venues as well. Carnegie mm -hmm. Hall, Olympia in Paris. What is one of your favorite spots? Oh man, they're all different. You know, they have they, they all have something different to offer. Uh, I love Carnegie Hall. Uh, of, of course, it's it's legendary. Uh, the Olympia is also legendary, and it's right in the heart of Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, jazz at Lincoln Center is a, a, a wonderful venue. Bass Hall in Fort Worth is a beautiful venue. Um, so there's so many great venues yeah. that have so. There's so much character and different things to offer. You're going to get to add Shankman Art Center to this list as well. I'm looking forward great. to that. Yeah. Are there venues that you haven't been at yet in this world that you'd like to still stop by? Yes. Yes, yeah. they have been. Um, I've done most of the major ones, the, the, the 2,000 seaters and the, the bigger ones, but some of the smaller venues I haven't done. So if they're like, you know, 800 seats or less. Yeah. You know, okay. yeah, but they, they still have character also, of course, and, and, and the smaller the space, the more intimate the music is, and the better it is for us nice. and the audiences. But 45 seconds left. What do you hope to take in during your visit here in Ottawa? Mm -hmm. well, I hope to be able to get around and go downtown and visit some of the cultural uh, things that offerings that you guys have. Yeah. Also, I want to get over to the Shankman and and see the venue before uh, we actually do the show. Have you ever heard of a beaver tail? I have not. Okay, <laughs> it's a pastry. It's not an okay. actual beaver. Okay, okay. It's, it's tasty. Try, check it out in the I'll, Byward, I'll check Byward Market. Out. I'm going to look for it when I leave here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All the fun gets underway at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And of course, there's still some seats available. Shankman Arts Center. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a real pleasure to have you here. And uh, we definitely hope you enjoy your time here in Ottawa. Thank you. I have been so far. It's, yeah. it's cold, fun. but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it gets colder, believe me. Adonis Rose, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for, for having me. Uh, more coming up on Daytime Ottawa.